Today we're going to discuss three of the basic techniques you'll use when working in a hood. The first is working in bottles, taking out and adding media. The second is working in the tissue culture dish. And the third is aspirating media. So when you show up to a hood many times, the sash will be down and the UV light will be on. The first thing you need to do is turn off the UV light and turn on the blower. At this point you can raise the sash and you should hear the blower turn on. So the first thing you want to do is grab a pair of gloves. Before you get anything in the hood you want to spray it down liberally with ethanol and wipe down. So from now on anything that goes into the hood will always be sprayed with ethanol. So when working in the hood, the first thing you're going to need is a pipette aid. So spray it down. And for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, we're going to work with a generic bottle of media and a tissue culture dish, which should be sterile coming from the packaging. Now when you're working on a tissue culture hood, the flow goes from the top to the bottom, so there's a strong downdraft inside the hood. Therefore, you don't want to have your hand go over an open bottle or an open dish because that's a likely source of contamination. So the easiest way to set up a hood is to keep things separate so that you never have to reach over something else. So because of the strong downdraft in the hood, you generally want to keep the lids on your items as long as possible and only open them temporarily when you're going in a, in a bottle or into or out of a tissue culture dish. Anytime you go into a bottle, you want to tilt it so that your pipette hand is not over the mouth of the bottle. So the easiest way to work with a tissue culture dish in a hood is to practice opening it with one hand. That leaves your other hand free for aspiration or addition of liquid. Grab the dish with one hand holding the lid with your index finger and the bottom with your middle finger and then your thumb holds both of them on the back side. This way also you minimize the time that the media is exposed to that strong downdraft where you may get some kind of contamination. Now when adding you want to grab the plate again open it slightly and add media to the wall gently so as not to disturb the cells that are adhering to the dish. Okay, so when aspirating a dish of media, you want to grab a glass pipette, turn on your vacuum, and again hold the, the plate with one hand, tilting slightly away from you, and then place the aspirating pipette all the way against the corner of your dish. Again, you're trying to keep the dish open just enough to get the pipette in. And as soon as it's dry, you want to close it and remove the glass pipette. 